What's up guys and welcome back again for another video about the AMD Atron 200GE. This is a second part, so if you didn't see my previous video I suggest you to go in the description below and check it out. I decided to upgrade the system with this RX 560 to see if we have any kind of improvement or if we can maintain at least 60 FPS and to raise the graphics quality. So let's go straight to the results and see how these two performs together. Ok, now I'm gonna repeat the exact same test I did in the past video. Let's start with Dota 2 at low details and 1080p resolution. If you check the GPU usage, you see that we are limited by the CPU in this case, but we can have more or less 60 to 70 FPS. As you can see, we don't have a big difference before and after the upgrade, because this uh, game, at least uh, with this APU, is heavily CPU limited. It means that we don't need much more than the Vega 3. In Dota 2, upgrading the GPU does not give us a good improvement in performance, so it means that if you want to play with more FPS in Dota 2, you'll need a better CPU. Ok, now let's go and check Counter-Strike. I am planting the bomb. Bomb has been planted. Terrorists win. For this test. I'm gonna run at quality 7. This card is very capable of doing that at 1080p. So let's see if the CPU is going to allow us to play at quality 7. Well, it seems very different from the last time. Let fate choose now. I can't attack that.
crime, very nice. So, it seems that with a dedicated GPU that is currently at 100%, the CPU is strong enough to drive it. And I was able to play in this dungeon at quality 7 without any particular issues. Well, so far so good. So I think now I'm gonna try to do a ride. Technology isn't I need to get closer. If you have a knock for it. Facility systems compromise. Proceed with caution. Alright, let's do a quick recap. In Dota 2, a game that is heavily CPU bound, we had little improvement. But in CSGO, we went with an average of 160 FPS. As well, in World of Warcraft, I was able to run the game at 1080p, quality 7, in World Quest, Dungeon and in Ride. And that is an amazing result, considering that this combo costs just a little more than a 2400G. I'm very curious about what you think of this combo, so write a comment in the comment section below, and as always, like if you like it, and see you in the next one.